Hello, hi. Okay. Hello, hi. Greetings all, my name is Claire. Welcome, I'm glad you're here. This is a steamy, the most um, sexual reading for how you are in bed. I thought I would um, just get into that. So I'm excited and right off um, the jump, this deck is like abnormally thick. So there could be something about you that is thick, like whatever, like guy, girl, whatever it is. I think that you could have a feature upon you that is thick in some way. I'm hearing um, juicy, so maybe you've had some really um, flavorful times with people. Like maybe there was like food involved <laughs> or I'm seeing like a boat um, or like a tropical location and like maybe you're like eating fruit. Uh, I think there is a lot of um, water like being consumed, like maybe you need to drink a lot of water because it gets very active. Um, you could be in a surroundings that is kind of like <laughs> maybe you look back on a time that you were on vacation or maybe in like a wooded area maybe like a forest maybe you have a fantasy about being like pushed up against a tree or um, having sex with someone up against a tree. Ten of Wands. I think you're very um, sexually active or have been at one point in your life. You probably attract people pretty regularly, but maybe you are taking a step back and focusing on yourself or you have been and you have been like attracting old flames or old lovers perhaps you're realizing um what you're really capable of in every facet you could be really feeling yourself maybe kind of wanting to get back into the game um or trying out new things maybe you have recently come upon like things that you've wanted to try that you're kind of like enveloping <laughs> maybe um you enjoy like wraith on the moment sex perhaps um you enjoy like sudden spur of the moment off ducked off into a corner or like sporadic in a like when I said it in a car almost, I was thinking like maybe there was like someone driving and you guys were in the back, but <laughs> who knows what's happening. Um, I think that there's just like a spontaneity that you desire, um, whether you've had it or not. I think that um, sex is frequently on your mind. You could drink a lot. You could have drank a lot at one point maybe you're sober now I think that there's a certain aspect to you this is a very nice card very pretty card it's the ten of wands though so I think maybe you're finding um you're like turning into something new you are finally seeing results in a sense of like changing a way that you have been and I think that you are feeling like kind of a threat because 
you've always been a good lover. Like, I think you really know how to um, make people come. <laughs> I think that you probably have, like, certain stops, certain things that you pull out. That, what am I even sure? These cards always, I don't... I do these randomly, um, and I show them to you, and there's, like, no way you could even see them. It's totally difficult to even see in person. So I think you can make people fall in love with whatever <laughs> you give them. <laughs> I think that you really enjoy seeing people. There's like results. There's results. Um, you just want to show people and you want to see. Like, I think you have a real talent in pleasure. So what, like, the people that you invite into <laughs> that arena, I think that, um, you really are like stunting like I think that there's a sense of like I'm about to show this person what's up there's it's like a, a hidden trick of yours like I think that you really pull it out on people um knowing that it might even be surprising maybe there's an aspect of you that doesn't seem like you would be capable of this or maybe you just don't wear it on yourself as much um I think that you could be very put together there's a very like a strong sense about you whether you are lusty or not I think um people might not approach you very often in that sort of sense maybe people like strangers do or something or maybe people do when they're in front of you but maybe you don't get a lot of offers out of the blue like randomly like maybe say if you get a lot of tension online or something I don't think a whole lot of people um like, there's just this sense of, like, you might not get as many offers as it seems because there's something about you that's, um, I'm hearing, unapproachable, but I think it's more of a sense of you're held, you're put together. You might seem distracted with your own sort of life, maybe kind of cut off. Um, I don't know if I've even shown you any of these cards. Uh 710 could be a number of relevance for you. The Seven of Swords, I think people might really like your smile um, or your teeth. Maybe you chew a lot of gum or the way your lips move. People really enjoy um, <laughs> your on the day. <laughs> maybe you enjoy watching people give head or get head like maybe you enjoy watching um penetration happen like I think you enjoy the act like you're very watching eyes like you want to see what's happening while it's happening sort of situation you're very in the moment there's probably a sense of you where you're just kind of like bl like almost black out in a sense of course you're like fully all there um, when you're, like, with someone, like, but I think there's a sense of you really get in the zone. You really just kind of, um, it's like a fantasy. Like, you really enjoy sex. It, you really enjoy passion, um, getting results out of people. I think there's a sense of, like, I'm about to see what this person likes even if it's just for this one time only, even if I end up not even caring about the situation at any point, I'm going to make the best of this one. And maybe not even, like maybe um, you don't always give your all, but I think even on your worst day, you probably um, lapse a lot of other people's others. <laughs> it's a skill. There's definitely a lot of skill. Because, okay, I don't know if I even said anything. These two cards. <laughs> Stupid. Um, yeah, I think you can make people feel like fall in love with uh, whatever sex you give them. Because the Two of Cups is, like, amorous. It's just a give and take. It's very... Um, you might have people thinking you're soulmates off of the, the first time. Uh, Page of Cups, I think... Um, you really open people's eyes to things like you might be people's first for whatever reason in some way maybe just like in being really good or in a certain aspect maybe you show them certain things or maybe really open their eyes to the way that they are 
naturally or truly maybe like uh, I hear like coming out but like you know like there's different aspects of that too um I think that it just is very fluid for sure <laughs> I think there's very um you're very adjusted I think you really love um your body and whether like in the act like whether you truly see that face to face when you're looking in a mirror or not I think that in the act you kind of like uh <laughs> you like go uh feral like I think that you're kind of like a wild animal in all the best ways I think structure is kind of important to you. I think you really thrive in situations where you can um, feel comfortable to do whatever you want with someone. Uh, I think you enjoy people that are confident, but like truly, or like, like you know how like uh, quirky people are still really confident in some things or like really in their lane. I think you just like people that have their own pocket and they're like steadfast in that because it's there's like a sex appeal and just doing your own thing regardless I think you like learning from um, partners to like a give and a take easily you like complexity Um, maybe like you're not into a whole lot of things like you might not be very devious when it comes to like a sexual realm but maybe you're willing to maybe you're open-minded maybe you're naturally not like oh I want to try all these things but maybe you're not like oh you're not instantly like that's not for me or something I think you're pretty neutral very open-minded evolve into complexity you could like sticking things everywhere (laughs) I'm I'm seeing like fingers appendages I'm seeing things and slots and places I think there's just like you're touching everything I don't think anything's really stopping you in the moment even if you look back and you're like oh my gosh I'm dirty like even if you look back and you're like oh gosh the things I'm capable of um it's just fun it's it's an enjoyable time you really are in it for the um the pleasure which is like shown through in every way I think you kind of have like a third eye for pleasure like you you might have a vessel that's kind of seemingly made for um giving the orgasm (laughs) you might always feel like people are trying to make eye contact with you seven of batons maybe you almost have to stop yourself from making eye contact like I am southern I guess I'm from the south born and raised uh I haven't lived there in almost it's been like nine years but I still suffer from on the street I want to make eye contact with everyone and smile and you know just be that (laughs) and living in a city it, it just is not the wave it's not always the thing to do um so I'm kind of like you have to teeter <laughs> with that balance of like you want to be innocent but you want to be respected you want to show out you don't want to waste your time I'm hearing I think that there is a serious playfulness about your sort of love that you provide to people like um, you give people hard times it's kind of like a, a bully but in a you like to know people so you can um have good conversation and like retain information I think that you really thrive off of banter and the the heave and the ho the give and the take the give and the get um I think you get going (laughs) uh with like laughter and like like getting pinned down or being like pinning people down I think that there's a lot of playful biting um a lot of like pushing you might like lay your head on different places just to like feel that person's warmth but I think you guys almost feel like little animals together <laughs> like <laughs> um there's just a like a severity and an errant obsession 
with each other. Like these colors are so rich and vibrant. It seems like it's like almost royal, like um, Dustin. Like I feel like maybe you've always felt like you had a, a strong sense of love meant for you like a calling for love like even if you haven't had good love experiences or being good at it yourself I think that there's like a calling to you in a sense that you feel very romantic about life or like there's a a higher sort of love in the works for you somewhere around the corner um if you keep going (laughs) and there is I feel that You might have random people that you have, like, the best sex with. Um, There might not even be a reason or calling for why. (laughs) I don't know why, but that is... Yeah, maybe you're, like, um, starting to think about where you want to spend your time and effort. The Ten of Wands, I think, that... uh, of wands I think that there's a a strictness to your atmosphere as of lately you're kind of wanting to please only the best and the brightest (laughs) like um whether you're only seeing one person or just playing the field as of right now I think there is a You might feel like stuck in a certain sense um because you get the ten of swords maybe you're looking for new partners maybe you're trying to see somehow how you can be in the wheel's favor when it spins because you got the wheel of fortune so i think you are seeing um the tides turn maybe you're um really developing yourself maybe you're really developing yourself um as just like a a threat in every way (laughs) like maybe you do feel like um you're really ready to be a partner to someone or maybe just get back in the field because um you know how good of a lover you are there's a lot of there's two tens so ten ten could be important to you or you could be seeing it I think that um you're, there's a, just been a strictness that you've developed and you're ready to have someone level up to that um because yeah I think what it is mm-hmm. You want someone to mutually respect you. I think that there has, you're looking for like union perhaps, or maybe you're, there's like an ideal way. You're like looking for innocence. Maybe this in this time and like age, like this era, since like innocence is kind of taking on a new form and you're wanting. Like, you're just wanting to spice things up, even, like, I just feel like things are growing. There's a newness in every sense of the word, um, and you're equipped for maybe the first time in your life, or, like, proper, you've stepped away from the things that you felt you've needed to, and you're ready to, um like find a veil I think that you're ready to open the veil you might like um the idea of people watching you fuck I think you might um enjoy like video (laughs) of like your sessions or there um you really enjoy beds because you can do everything there's like many positions that you like to take or maybe like in rooms you move around the whole room uh or like you want to fuck someone everywhere in every room of the house (laughs) maybe you're like having dreams of like 
getting property and like fucking in it (laughs) I just got a lot of thoughts of like um backyards but like hidden like kind of like grassy meadows like but there's like no there's a feeling of being alone I think you have this really big sense of like you want to share aloneness with someone you want to show someone how alone you felt but with your body to someone else I think that's what the feeling is right now and that's so special all right so um yeah I think that's how you make you make people feel like special and you gotta know I love you pile two greetings pile two so you might like the colors like dark rich purple or red you might enjoy masks of any type maybe not like in bed but just as an aesthetic in some form or fashion I was thinking like Mardi Gras when I said masks as well (laughs) um Growing up, I had a bathroom that just had Mardi Gras masks lining the wall. Because my mother, she used to be a manager for American Express in New Orleans. And she would always, every time she would go to the office there, she would come back and bring me um, a mask. It was really special. So maybe you guys are oh my gosh maybe you guys have large breasts or maybe you really enjoy large breasts <laughs> you could enjoy drinking or have like a um, lactose intolerance you can enjoy cold showers or like the sensation of warmth like you can enjoy bathing your partner or being bathed I think you enjoy being in water with the person that you are intimate with ace of cups um you could be someone that finds themselves in relationships pretty frequently you don't even know how it happens all the time or maybe you're just like always finding that you um have love opportunities available to you, um, unassuming to rhyme or reason. Like, I don't think you necessarily are just, like, on the market all the time. You might not even be on apps looking or whatever, but I think you just kind of find it in everyday life, wherever you go. Um, maybe there's just something that's enthralling about you. that's funny you yeah you got the king of wands so it's kind of confirmed um with whatever you are I think that you are very confident you probably own something you're probably very confident you probably own something like um you're very devout in the things that you like I think you have very strong um opinions and like you might not be opinionated but you might just like be very smart and like adept to your environment you might know a lot of things but quietly it might not be like a like a strong arming I think you have like a quiet resonance but it um, is resounding like when you're in a room people might look at you frequently I think um, you can kind of tell that you might be able to get a lot of people's attention Uh, maybe you enjoy the idea of (laughs) um, tight spaces um, being pushed into tight areas and like you know getting a little I'm hearing nooky Uh, maybe you enjoy like uh, caressing of the neck or like biting of the neck um, behind the ears licking around the ears and the ears I think licking probably anywhere there's like a severe 
um, you enjoy tongue play and like you'll put your tongue anywhere pretty much but you really enjoy like you know like licking your partner's tongue (laughs) or stuff like that I think you could almost just like get anything like you don't even care uh, if your partner's doing it like or the person that you're into you pretty much um, will go with the wind I think there's a sense of like when you're really into someone you almost have to trust the people that you're into you have to have a good sense of yourself because you have to be able to trust the people because you get really into whatever like maybe you do sway easily into things because you're very open-minded it's kind of like no holds with you and you enjoy that Um, maybe you've learned a lot of different things that you enjoy that way Uh, maybe you've learned a lot of things that you didn't enjoy that way like the five of cups is um, a variety of things could have happened in your life um, that you've had to learn from and I think that it really makes you like a good um, sexual partner because you people tell you like you enjoy results like you Um, want people to talk to you I think you enjoy talking during sex or at least like having people tell you what they enjoy like there's a lot of pillow talk afterwards so they'll tell you like what was good what's not good Um, I think that there's a lot of like hand stuff Um, you want uh, like you will put like your fingers in places even when you're like penetrating if you get my gist like maybe you like grab on people's mouths and like yank or like pull maybe you enjoy like your hair being gripped or like someone gripping um your hair but like I think there's a serious like tugging of skin like pulling a lot like um like on clothes uh pulling like in general you know (laughs) a push and a pull like I think it's kind of like a game in a sense um you really just want to have fun you want to trust people you want to give people trust so that you can really like um fill the role I think uh, you might be into role play or cosplay dressing up in some sense or form or fashion you might not um you might just be naturally like kind of a star um you might have a lot of hope and people give people a lot of chances maybe you kind of like renew every day like when you wake up um you have like new thoughts maybe you're very active in your social life or just in general maybe you have a little outlets maybe you work a lot or have a lot of creative things going but um there's not a lot of things that hold you down so your open-mindedness really like turns people on I think um stimulation these cards have words at the top and not only does it have nice colors and like a sun in it which is automatically you have to be attractive like you probably drive people wild people probably look at you all the time um you probably get talked to maybe you're really good at conversation maybe you are very inviting maybe you're not but I think you're very engaging um whether you want to be or not ace of wands yeah uh you might stand like you might have really good posture you might um make people very erect or be very erect like you might sit very hard (laughs) um maybe you sit very heavy like when you sit on people they might like feel like just like enveloped in you maybe they like being inside of you just feels like a whole new world or um when people when you give it to people they feel like eyes are rolling back (laughs) things are exploding like you actually like see sparks fly (laughs) maybe you enjoy fire like candles around or just like um I'm hearing sex magic so whatever that entails for you but yeah stimulation is at the top of this so I think that it's like a brand new day like you have like a creative sense towards um making love I hear but like sex I think you're willing to grow with people like when you find a good partner that means a lot to you um whether you have like friends with benefits or not um what like whether you allow that in your life or not I think that you really treat everyone with respect because you want them to come you want them to feel good you want to see all the sides of them um 
because I think deep down you do want to like feel love or you expect to receive like some sort of sincerity in passion that you give so you might be good at moving forward with people like you might be really good at dating maybe you've dated a lot of people or maybe you haven't maybe you've um, ghosted a lot of people or like helped people see a lot of different sides of themselves and whatever like maybe you've began people's journey towards like enlightenment or like just being around people or like being able to like be inside you or being um have you inside them in some way uh like I think it almost feels like you inject people with knowledge (laughs) and intuition like you really hold like a god form almost like it like you feel like pure light to people like there probably is something where um you feel light maybe you afterwards you have like um like vibrating (laughs) like maybe your limbs vibrate or maybe you shake a lot or make people shake a lot um I think that you kind of like take on the form of like a sex god in a certain way because uh like this look at this card I think you just have like ultimate like there's a well inside of you that is always giving to um the idea of if I give love like in any sense like you are willing to show people um enthusiasm you're willing to make eye contact with strangers even though um it's not kosher all the time I think that you can really extend yourself um to people knowing that the world will um has you like the world's got your back Yeah, I feel like you kind of know that the world is riding for you. Oh my god, the, the world at the bottom. That's adorable. That's really cute. I think that you have a special um, identity with your spiritual self, uh, whether you identify with that or not. Like Whether you've assumed the position of being like a god warrior (laughs) but like whether you care about religion spirituality or you believe in nothing at all I think you kind of know that um there's like a sense of humor to you that understands that life is a give and a take like if you like I think you know you're always going to get through. I think there might be a thing where you always know that you can make... um, Like, maybe you've made everyone come. Maybe you've had a really good success rate. Or maybe, like, you enjoy kissing. I I really think that there's, like, you have people, like, bending up backwards. I think there's a tight spaces sort of thing. So you can easily, like, prop someone up against a wall or... uh, be propped up against a wall but like you can get in really good positions that way um you could enjoy like steamy sex uh shower sex kind of (laughs) sucks but maybe you enjoy that um or maybe just like around water maybe like when there's not water flowing (laughs) so it's not like washing away all the (laughs) lubrication but I think you really enjoy um, natural people or things in your environment. Um, there could be a room that gets a lot of light that you've had a lot of good times in or you enjoy um, getting people, like taking people in. <laughs> uh, you could have had an experience on a haunted house or enjoy like scaring um I don't know, maybe you guys are funny in some way or form. Uh, You could just be into, like, watching horror movies with your partner or, like, going to the movies. Um, Maybe you enjoy darkness or, like, mood lighting. I'm seeing a green light. Um, Hmm. 
Knight of Wands. You could be a very in a, in an experimental phase of your life, kind of open minded towards a lot of things, trying to see what you're really into, trying to figure out what best pleases you and um like what you could give your life to. Maybe you've had a hard time being uh, monogamous or being with one person. Maybe you've tried having a relationship with multiple people. What is it? Um, like an open relationship or something. But maybe you've tried that. Uh, I think you could just be in the market for really defining what you enjoy and what you could have in the long haul. Whether you take this current stage of dating seriously, I th really think... Um, you're trying to find what is best for your love life like I think you're very serious about your love life whether you're serious about your love life <laughs> like does that make sense like you might not be taking anyone seriously or even looking for um, longevity in anything that you're doing but I really think that you're defining the situation so when you do see that person that hits like that really sparks that like has lights a flame in your in your heart um i think that you'll you'll know what you want to give starting because i think you know that there's an evolution to life like um whatever you believe in or don't believe in i think that you know that there's a surrender because it says surrender to receive i think that you know that um, taking things too seriously has never served you. I think you're very playful um, in everyday life. Like, you know how to um, give and take jokes. So maybe there's, like, a you enjoy foreplay, maybe, like, a teasing situation. I think there's, like, a lot of eye contact, but, like, you're, you like the long, slow, um, like strokes or entering like you want to slowly see this person melt like you um enjoy like caressing them with like foreign objects or um seeing goosebumps pardon I think you enjoy like seeing goosebumps you could enjoy um maybe like scary stories with each other or like being a protector or feeling protected by your person but I think that maybe you enjoy ice of some sort like a cold play of some type uh you could enjoy being loud you might be loud very naturally just because when you get turned on how can you not <laughs> like maybe you didn't even realize it until you've been put in situations as of lately Or in general, um, maybe you've had to like be quiet because you've been surrounded by people. Um, maybe you enjoy the idea of like sneaking. It's like um, getting off in the cut and like just kind of having your way with like a little moment with people or that person. Like uh, I think there's a serious like air about it you and you want to be in the moment you want to um there's a respect in your love life you want to have enough respect for each other that you can be that open and just like in the moment suggest things and even if they're not into it you don't even feel bad you're like okay whatever I'll try again later or I'll do something different like it's just not heavy it's fun and you know that you're kind of like a vessel for pleasure and um you really assume that position beautifully I think that you can make people wet like even <laughs> if you're a guy if you're a guy you easily um know what to do and if you're a girl you just have it like <laughs> everyone's getting wet one more card yeah I just heard like dig so maybe you enjoy anal or maybe you enjoy just like really getting in there like getting deep down in someone's guts or <laughs> having someone deep down you know like you like the strokes in all f ranges I think um you enjoy laying on your partner afterwards 
or having someone lay on you just trust yeah I think that there's a, a severity to like the idea of passion but through surrender I really think that you do best like you could run away from situation like you might have gotten into situations where you're like oh I want this and you didn't like it's never that serious but um you're really looking for something to grow and I think maybe that's becoming more obvious or it's always been obvious to people but you look good you look cute like all these cards are very cute and I'm hearing shy so maybe you are shy but not in every way <laughs> maybe you aren't shy maybe you were at one point who knows there's a whole lot of things but I think that there's a lot of like flavor to you there's a lot of um, maybe you like jazz, maybe you enjoy piano music, but there's like a, maybe you have like fantasies about libraries or enjoy the smell of libraries, but I think you also glasses or like chandeliers, you probably have like a very romantic taste in life and you're kind of wanting to attain that maybe you haven't had that and that's kind of what you're searching for maybe something to be romantic with I think that's what it is I think people can kind of see it and maybe you're starting to see it too maybe you haven't had that maybe you've been kind of rugged or whatever maybe you haven't but I think you're starting to see I want romance and I am good at it so I think that would look really good on you too um you gotta know I love you